Hey, here with Easy Jeezy. Well, look at that. Got the 2110 in the Baja. Put the little rack on. It's amazing that the bracket lined up right there the same as this bracket lined up. There's the mark on here where that U-bolt was. I didn't even have to reconfigure anything. Sometimes you just get lucky, you know? I've taken it out a couple of times today. Uh, there was an extra baffle that I had right here. And that was uh, inside here prior to that super trap style uh, tip. And that seemed to just choke things down didn't really uh, didn't help matters at all so I tr I took this this super trap tip off and ran it with the baffle then I took the baffle out and now I've got the super trap style that's a motorcycle I don't I don't know what the heck to tell you on that I, I just call it a super it's a super trap copycat and that's where I first saw them was on motorcycles and it was supposed to be a tunable exhaust and I had no idea that it would work for something that was this big. I suppose I ought to get my fingerprints off of it. A lot of times if you don't take your fingerprints off these uh, exhaust systems when you're putting them together and they have coatings or... This is stainless steel so it probably wouldn't hurt anything but might take a chance, huh? We're right here. So, anyhow, it... Uh, my seat of the pants meter tells me it can't tell the difference. I guess I'm just old and out of calibration, but uh, I suspect what happened when I lowered the compression and removed the second valve springs. Now this this uh, uh, ported and polished head came with dual valve springs, but I took them. I took the inner spring off, and it's just running the the one. So. That's the deal, and uh, I think it just runs out of uh, cam at about 5,500. So there's just no point. It'll it'll wrap up that high, but you're not really pulling and making power, as far as I can tell. So let's uh, let's take it out, and take it for a putt. We'll see for uh, ourselves here. We'll uh, just go for a ride around the lake. Maybe we'll catch a pretty sunset. It's been raining off and on all day. I sure had fun with the uh, grandkids and family yesterday at the graduation. So I'll probably uh, just post this up tomorrow morning on Sunday. <sighs> It's got a deeper, mellower tone. It's not really comfortable. You know, noise is a funny thing. Sometimes you don't mind it, and other times you do. But I found that most of the time, tired of it real quick and I'm going deaf so it shouldn't bother me that bad right <laughs> but you know how loud exhaust is if you're not pushing in the, if you're not in the power if you're not in the throttle it just kind of purrs along and it, it don't sound too bad really say that it makes a big noticeable difference in power. It's not really perceptible to my seat of the pants meter having that bigger bore. I thought that I was really messing with the balance of everything by choking it down because they had made them out. But you know, it's like I was saying in one of my earlier videos, all that hot rod and racing stuff I mean, there's a difference between having more reliable power for the street and then big power at the track. And if you want something that's going to do it all, see, she just squirts 
right up there to 55 and then it's kind of uh, it's over and those kind of heads and exhausts are probably made for more RPM than that and that's what I'm saying it, it's probably uh, like the 2110. Hopefully your Memorial Weekend will be good memories. Oh, that's pretty. Sounds good. It's got a nice little purr to it at normal speeds. conclusion on having the bigger exhaust on I don't know it's not like it's a huge difference that you're gonna feel I don't know if it'd be measure measurable on a dyno you know some sort of accurate measurement I was kind of hoping it would be some shockingly amazing thing because I had it choked down pretty good but I took those you know, not having double springs on, it's not going to get that higher RPM. And the cam's only good for 5,500 or so anyhow. So, oh boy, those... I hope the camera brings that out. It just... Let's see if I can stop. There's nobody behind me. That is just really pretty. I got traffic coming. So, anyhow. <laughs> I think we'll call that a wrap. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy jeezy. Out.